next review today. This thing here. Okay, I've noticed on the forums and things people are interested in ponchos. Ponchos are great. Yes, you get what you pay for. You can get a cheap poncho. It does the job. It works. It's rainproof. Hang on. We do have an example of such coming up, I believe. Downside, is The downside. <laughs> Military poncho. All right, this is one of the, a, a cheaper version. A cheapy seven pound, I think. About seven quid. This one, DD poncho, super light poncho. God knows how much this one might. This one weighs. <laughs> I'll tell you how much this weighs later because I've got it on a book down here and I can't remember in general. So I bet on a guess that's about 800 grams. So oh, <laughs> it's about 800. I bet this it one's is. a lot less. So DD Poncho Light comes in its own little stuff sack. Recommendations is stuff it in, don't fold it in. Okay. I'll open it up. I am going to look such a prat with this on, but it is worth it when it's raining. It's a good, 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 good size. So to start with, just make sure you don't wear it down side. Norwich High Street. Yeah, <laughs> I would do. So put the bag down. So this is it. This is the DD Super Light Poncho. It is very windy today, but as you can see, it's bloody humongous. It really is. I'm quite pleased with it. There's poppers all over it. Huh? There's poppers everywhere, There's all poppers the way everywhere. around. Yeah. I'll show, I'll, I'll show you all about those in a moment and what it does. Now, I'm going to dip down, pick up the book, because it weighs. 370 grams. Yeah, a bit different. Nothing. You saw how small it was packed up. The poncho itself is 2.45 metres long or 1.3 metres in width if you lay it out in a square. The same sort of fabric as the tarp. It, it is exactly yeah. the same fabric and the same poncho as all the DD tarps. So it is 100% waterproof and if all the tape, all the seams, sorry, are taped. So it has five press studs down each side and it has two on each of the arms and I'll show you those. It also has eight eyelets in total. So Yeah, there's one by you right at the front here, yeah. They're not the biggest, but this isn't designed to be a tarp. It's How many, how many eyelets, sorry? Eight of these. Eight. eight uh, eight, uh, eight points, say, are there? Tie eight points. There is some Velcro around the hood to show you. So you can tuck the hood inside itself and then use the Velcro to close the chin guard, yep. which will stop the water from splashing in yep. if you put it up the right way. That was definitely the problem with the Chinese yep. one, yeah. There's also a draw cord, of course to draw the hood up tight. It's not the best hood in the world, but what we're looking at here is rain gear. Emergency yeah, shelter. Yeah, it's over you and then you tie it up underneath so it doesn't go. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So what I'm gonna do, guys, uh, I'll just check the notes. <laughs> That's everything, really. Yeah, I think so you need I'm to put it on. I'm gonna put it together, and then I'm gonna put the bloody thing on, all right, just so I can show you. <laughs> so firstly, pick a side. When you can find it in this wind, that's amazing. Have you got any water I can throw over you? We could test no, it. No, you are not throwing water <laughs> over me. Just saying. Right. So, very, very easy. I'm going to take my hat off. Board spot. Here we go. Ta da! Wow. Right. It's humongous in here. Have you so, seen Know What I Did Last Summer? <laughs> yeah, I watched that. Yeah. <laughs> So what you do, a couple man. of points to point A. If you look on it, you'll see there's a little tab here. There should be one on the back as well. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I can see it. You can run a ridge line oh, brilliant. through the centre of the uh, grommet there, up through the centre of that through the back one and out the other end to create your apex. Will that be diagonal or...? No, just... 
I okay. suppose it would work, Diane, yeah. if you wanted it to. Yeah, you can twist move. it, Diane. So, so you can put, put it through. Yeah. But these aren't dead centre. Dead centre is the centre of the hood. Yeah. So you might struggle a little on the diagonal, but give it a go. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. It is big enough to go over a hammock. It's not going to give you all the space of a regular DD, etc. But it is big enough in an emergency situation to go over a hammock if you had to. So, poppers. This thing has got poppers everywhere. This is a sleeve. I was quite oh, it's got actually this. a separate part. Of the it's sleeve, a se yeah. yeah, separate sleeve. Yeah, that's the difference with the and Chinese they are one really again. Good, good sized poppers. They're strong. So that's your one arm. So it yeah, creates yeah. a proper arm. Your grommets are on the outside. Pretty. So this will just fold underneath or hang when you've got it set up. It's designed to be worn as a poncho, of course. So all the poppers just pop together down the sides. Ooh, I can get them done up because I'm a bit of a today. Well, it's not helpful oh! when it's really windy. in real time. All real time, yeah. <laughs> no, no video trickery magic here. Only because I'm too thick and I can't do trickery magic. I think I missed the pop. Yeah, right? you have missed one. Yeah. Yeah. It's so light though, you don't even know you've got it on. You really wouldn't think that would be as waterproof as it is. I have used this in the rain and it is really good. I walked around the yard with it when I went to check the horses and it was brilliant. So, I'll do the other side up. Hi guys, sorry about that technical hitch there. The batteries ran out. So obviously I've been waffling on quite a bit. Never mind anyway. As I was saying, poppers everywhere. They all do up. They make sure that the sleeves stay nice. You've put on a bit of weight. Arm. Huh? You put on a bit of weight. I put on some weight as well since last time. Uh, what I've done, just so you know how it works, I mean, most of you guys know how ponchos work, but I'm going to give you a quick side look. <laughs> it looks like a turtle. <laughs> okay, the reason I've done that is because I do have. I don't know if you can see. Not uh, quite, a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can see it. We can see there it. There you go, look. Just quickly, I yeah. have a 55 litre uh, rucksack or backpack, whatever you want to call it, on the bag as well. So if it does persist with rain, you can put your poncho over yourself and your backpack, just in case you haven't got a waterproof one. The only thing I'm going to show you next is just the hood and stuff. The hood, obviously, here. Nice draw cord. It does. It's a bit <laughs> Whoops, it's lazy! Right, something like that. And Velcro. And you do have your Velcro to close it up. Bloody ass windy, innit? That is. There you go. So all in all, I'm tacking this off, I still my head in already. That's not raining. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Right. All in all, I'm really, really impressed with it. I mean, I do have a basher. I've used one many times um, and I've swapped that out for my DD um, 3x3 and a, another uh, DDM tarp but this is brilliant. Has that Absolutely now replaced brilliant. your basher then? Hmm? Has that now replaced your basher pretty much? Cause, yeah. yeah, my basher I don't use now, it's, it's old anyway. I was going to say, that's about the same size yeah, as the basher. Yeah, it's old it? anyway and the waterproof has come off it. So, um, I've, But I'm really, really going to use this more for day hiking yeah, um, that type of thing. And if I get caught out in the weather, at least I've got this with me in an emergency. So, or if you want to stay out overnight on a day hack when yeah. you didn't originally plan it, say, uh, yeah, an emergency I was I'm not staying tonight. Whack this up, done. Yeah. I always have a couple of walking poles. That's my apex sorted, and that will do. So, or trees and tree, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So that's the uh, poncho. Um, again, Drew uh, from. Uh, Wiley, Wiley's Outdoor. <laughs> WileyOutdoors.com. Uh, he 
does have a Facebook uh, page as well under the same name. Same name. Um, so do go over and have a look. Again, there's tips, tricks, hints, vlogs, vlogs on the site, not just trying to sell your kit. Uh, Drew does, you know, give you good sound advice and he knows his stuff. Uh, and to be honest, if he can't get something or he's not had much experience with it, that's fine. One thing you mentioned is Drew does take the kit out himself before he sells it. And tests it a lot. Tests yeah. it a lot. He's always in the woods. I wouldn't mind that job myself, but some of us have to feed our family. <laughs> in Scotland, yeah, exactly. he's up in Scotland, lucky bloke. <laughs> anyway, Allowed guys, world, that's it for the DD Poncho. There's one more route coming up later on, and that will be another DD project. Very quick one on that. There's not much you can say, but that'll be next to follow, and that'll be the DD Magic Carpet. Love All right, guys. It. See you soon.